welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Let's hang out together tonight. Are you ready for week number 18? Can you believe it's 18 weeks before Christmas? So what are we gonna do on week 18? Do you remember? Did you print out your list? Some of you are asking where you can get a copy of the list of 20 weeks of things to clean before Christmas. And you can go on my website, www.resume, R-E-S-U-M-E of a mother.com. And you can print out the 52 week list or the 20 week list. So we are in week 18 and we're gonna be cleaning out the dreaded closet. Now, everybody's house is perfect, I know, except for mine. My house is not perfect. So if you're looking for perfection, you came to the wrong place and the wrong channel and the wrong girl. If you're looking for reality, we're gonna do a reality check tonight. I'm gonna to show you the closet. So this closet was my stockpile closet. We emptied it. We then moved in all those bits and pieces that we didn't know what to do with over the spring and summer. It just got shoved in the closet. I haven't had time. We live a crazy life. It is what it is. No judgment here. I'm sure you all have a closet that you don't want me looking at, but my closet's going on the World Wide Web right now, and you're gonna see it. But here's the scoop. I'm gonna show you the closet, and then at about two seconds later, you're gonna see us cleaning it. But in reality, we are going over to a friend's house. He lost his mom this morning, actually, and we're gonna have dinner with a couple of our friends and have some key lime pie and hang out. And then we're gonna come back and clean the closet. If you hear some rumbling, it's thundering. We're finally getting rain here in New Jersey. So let me take you over to the closet. You can see how bad it really looks. And then we're gonna clean it. Okay, come with me. Okay, people, I didn't realize it was this bad. Now, Graham someone has organized this. If you remember this in my stockpile, I used to have all my stuff on here. This is, this is my husband's stuff. Let's just say, right, Graham? Yes. This is his cleaning bits and pieces. Yes, we do need to sort this and go through it. But, and then as you can see, we have some remains of the stockpile, some tea bags, and we do have some cleaning up here and coffee. So yeah, we need to sort that. Literally threw stuff in here, paper towels, storage things I don't know what to do with, extra boxes of tissues, my canning stuff. There's some shelves all the way in the back there I used to have canning stuff on, and that is paper towels. Then we come down here and more paper towels and tissues, and look at this. I didn't know what to do with the tablecloth, and Graham's got some tools and mops, and okay, water, stockpile stuff, look at that. Well, that peanut butter there is to make homemade, what do you call those things, the suets or whatever you put in the trees, so see that, bird seed and peanut butter. We had done those at Vacation Bible School. That's old peanut butter, so I don't wanna, certain things I don't keep past the time because of the oils, all the way down to the floor. So if you want to see something totally embarrassing, there you go. And yes, you've seen it right here, and now we are gonna dig in and get this cleaned out. everyone I am back so it has taken us the reality of three days Graham three days yep. three days to clean out our hall closet now we kind of thought it'd be an hour or two we'll whip it out 
Well, we started it, we went out to dinner with some friends, and then I guess the next day we did a little bit more, we had some more places to go, and then finally today, Graham was able to finish it. Three days, three days, people, this is ridiculous. But Graham organized it as sort of like a little nook for himself. He does uh, quite a bit of the cleaning of the house, he does the repairs, he does, he does, he does, he does. And um, this kind of turned into Graham's closet, which is really a good thing. So I'm going to let you um, see or take a tour with Graham and he's going to explain everything to you. Let's see if I could show you somebody right there hanging out. Can you see that little guy? Oh yeah, well those of you that love to see Kips, that's some of the stuff we have to sort right there going up on the stairs. So what Graham ended up doing is pulling out all the stuff that I needed to go through. We had some gift wrap and some gift bags and paints and I don't even know what. And um, we took some stuff to the basement from some decorations like red, white, and blue stuff we took down. We have stuff on the stairs that have to go upstairs like shoes and you know it's amazing when you have an empty spot you just tend to shove. So it is now clean, organized. I'm going to let Graham take over the camera and he's going to show you what he did. Kudos to Graham who spent the three days doing it. I mean, it might've been over three days, but he was diligent, he worked hard, he organized it. It looks completely different. I never would have set it up the way he did, but what he did was fantastic. So let me give the camera to Graham and he's gonna close this out and show us the final results. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna give you now a quick tour of uh, what we were able to get accomplished with the closet. Uh, as you'll see, it's a tiny closet, but it had become a catch-all, and, uh, and as Lynn was saying, it uh, took about three days to uh, get the job done. So let me give you a quick tour and uh, show you what we were able to get done. So as you can see, what I tried to do is to uh, do the best on... Uh, making use of uh, the space. What I had done is switch out what we used to hang on the door and now I uh, hang a uh, one of those uh, movers you know for uh, uh, moving things around uh, and keep that on the door uh, and now we can actually get in here uh, over here on the side, I've got all the brooms, etc. Uh, I put up a, a hook for there. Uh, and then up top, uh, presently we have uh, a few water jugs. Uh, those will uh, be used up shortly and that will give me a little bit of room. Try to keep the uh, s sprays that we don't uh, want people to have uh, reach at, keep them up there. Um, this here is one of those uh, things that we use for when we go to uh, thrift shopping and stuff like that, so we keep that accessible. And then over here, what I did is, is that hook that used to be on the door, I attached hooks onto the wall and uh, now we keep it over here uh, right on the wall and then uh, and as you can see it's uh, not too brightly lit but we keep the paper towels the tissues and things back there but and then we have some step stools and things down there so but at least now it's a whole lot neater a whole lot more organized and I know what is in here and it looks a whole lot better all right so thanks for uh, following us and uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this quick tour and uh, enjoyed the what we were doing you have a good day